Well, hello. This is Irma with my note cards once again. Thank you for uh, stopping by. And uh, today we're going to discuss and I'm going to share a couple of quick tips with you on how I made these beautiful flowers. Now, these are flowers that I've made using uh, scrapbook pages. All right. And what I did do is I allowed the pattern of the of the papers that I punched out to kind of enhance the flowers. All right. And it, it, it's pretty easy and it's very quick. And very often, sometimes when I find myself wanting a flower and, and not actually having the proper uh, rubber stamp, um, I will resort to creating the flower uh, myself using the decorative uh, scrapbook pages. Let me just very quickly so that you can see these. It's what they are is they are scrapbook pages or scrapbook paper that I've cut out with a punch. And again, I'm using the um, Stampin' Up punches, but actually you can use any other, any punches that you have handy. It doesn't have to be a Stampin' Up. As long as you have pretty much one big flower and a lot of other little punches that you could create the center of the flowers. Here's another one. Now basically what I did was not only did I punch the flower out, and I'm going to show you what I'm, what uh, I did, was, but I also took a black sharpie and I outlined my flowers as well, adding interest and some kind of depth to them. So let's take a look and see very quickly what it is that I did. Let's put this here as a background. I took my papers and um, the papers really any kind of paper. This one might be too dark, so I'm, gonna, I'm going not to use this. And uh, what I did basically was I took out my punch. I ignored the pattern of the paper. I just punched it, okay? Because the pattern that's here is going to add interest to my flower. Then I take my magic black magic marker or in this in this uh, in this example I'm using the sharpie and what I want to do is I want to kind of create some interest in the flower okay it doesn't have to be perfect just like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a punch. It's going to be a round punch. Or actually, no, it doesn't have to be a round punch. Let's take this punch, and I'm going to use uh, this shape. Okay? And I'm just going to use this like that. Actually, I'll just make all three. There you go. And then what I'm going to do, I think I will take this one and I'm going to glue it to the center of that. Okay. And uh, I knew I had my glue some somewhere in here. Let's take this very quickly. I'm going to apply the glue. There we go. I'm going to put it in here. And then I'm going to take, once again, my Sharpie. And I'm going to kind of emphasize or just play with this. I'm going to take the shape of the flower itself. And I'm just decorating, you know, just some lines there. There's no rhyme or reason. 
All right, and there I have a pretty flower. Okay, again, uh, taking into consideration the design, uh, not really taking the design into consideration, no, just playing with it, just going for it, and creating a nice card, uh, a nice flower for a card. Now, let's just go back to here. If you do not have a punch at all, then what you can do is, if you have stencils, flower stencils, by all means, trace them, cut them out with a regular pair of scissors, and use that, okay? And if you don't have, well, then just take your paper and don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid. Just make your own flower with your Sharpie and uh, cut it out once you're done. And you'll see that you'll have a variety of different flowers. Some of them may be a little wonky, but that's okay. It adds to the interest of the flowers that you've made. I hope you have enjoyed this. And once again, you know, I come here, I don't edit my videos. You see what you see, you get what you get. Um, and uh, again, it's not about perfection. It's about taking art and enjoying it. Enjoy, enjoy creating it and um, showing it to others. So, once again, you have a good day. And if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.